Well, the city of Pittsburgh is getting ready to host the area's largest 4th of July celebration. And this year, you can expect security. Good evening, everybody. I'm Susan Copen. Ken has the night off. Hundreds of thousands of people will head into the city tomorrow. Security, always a top priority. But this year, crews are taking safety to another level. Kim Gable is live downtown right now. Kim. Susan, a lot of activity going on right now at Point State Park at this late hour. Uh, you can see here behind me, crews still setting up as things get underway early here tomorrow. And you're right, an increased focus on safety and security, specifically what you cannot bring here into Point State Park. At the entrance to the park, uh, there are these signs here. Uh, some of the same things as last year, but a couple of the new ones I've been told, drones, and selfie sticks. So those will be confiscated. You cannot bring those here uh, into Point State Park. And as one city official puts it, you will see an overabundance of security here tomorrow. There's always been a passionate relationship among Pittsburghers and their pyrotechnics. The wow factor that heightens expectations, the collective excitement and record crowds. Upwards of 400,000 people here. What's your plan? I'm going to try to get here early. And, uh, and get a good spot. But producing such a massive event means tedious planning behind the scenes. This year, an increased focus on security. Great to know they're beefing up security and to be able to come to the city with extra security, just it's great all the way around. Not taking any chances after this 4th of July shooting downtown last year, four people wounded by gunfire. We've taken appropriate precautions after what happened last year with the shootings and the uh, somewhat disruptive activity from the regatta, uh, there will be a much heavier presence and more visible presence of law enforcement. There will be a heavy presence here. We will have bag checks on site to get into Point State Park. Um, so we suggest people just be aware of that. Uh, might be a little bit of wait to get in, but hopefully that'll go quickly. Everything you carry into Point State Park is subject to search. Bag checks at all entrances and police officers everywhere. They'll handle the safety while you focus on fun. When you see the fireworks, it just makes everybody so happy. Okay, so as we come back here live tonight at Point State Park, the road closure, specifically Commonwealth Place here behind me, that starts tomorrow at noon, so things get underway early. Of course, the night is capped off by the EQT Flashes of Freedom fireworks. That starts at 9.35. A lot of people were actually coming up to us here tonight thinking the fireworks were this evening. Uh, it's very highly publicized on the city's uh, website, on uh, social media, and of course, everything you need to know about tomorrow, when to come here, parking, uh, what not to bring, that's all on KDKA.com. Reporting live, Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.